Can you imagine I was caught red handed having sex with a goat? No one had ever told me it's wrong. I called it a fetish, but the judge called it bestiality and sentenced me to 10 years in prison. What about you? I heard you raped a college girl. Tell us how you became a sexual deviant. At class 6, as I told you, I got a boy who was washing me and she happened to lose her towel one in one of the moments and I got to see pubic hair. I mean, she had an agenda. For me, pubic hair was the focus. So whatever else she tried to do, I didn't understand what she was doing. She fondled me. I felt it good. Extremely good. And for the first time, I experienced a woman in classics. But in my head, in my mind, I was still a boy. You never see life again the same way when you look at a woman after you are a boy at class six, ten years old. But sexuality, for me, that's my personal experience because I became a playboy in school and I was famous because of sports. I knew how to handle girls because I've discovered what we have. Most boys didn't. That's the solution. Is it to talk candidly with the children? Uh, the solution for me is a, bit, is a bit much more broader than the boy child or the girl child. It's about embracing the topic of sexuality as a part of humanity. That as earliest opportunity that we have to teach our kids A, B, C, D. We should also be able to be able to break down the genetic makeup of what sexuality is and start teaching our kids the ABCDs of sexuality.